Hello everyone, I am Mrs. Esther Messi. In this video, we'll continue the lesson A Letter to God by G. L. Fontes. In my previous video, I've explained about a farmer whose name was Lencho, how his crops were destroyed and he was so much troubled and he wrote a letter to God expecting help from him. So let's continue. So, in order to shake up the writer's faith in God, the postmaster came up with an idea, answered the letter. But when he opened it, it was quite evident that to answer it, he needed something more than goodwill, ink and paper. But he struck to his resolution. He asked for money from his employees. He himself gave part of his salary and several friends of his were obliged to give something for an act of charity. So now this postmaster, he wanted to reply the letter which Lencho wrote to God. And for a reply, he just needed something more than a paper and a pen. He needed some money because in that letter, Lencho asked God for some money. So since this postmaster did not have enough money, he asked his employees and his friend to contribute for helping Lencho. It was impossible for him to gather together the hundred pesos, so he was able to send the farmer only a little more than a half. He put the money in the envelope addressed to Lencho and with a letter containing only a single word as signature, God. So this man, postmaster, he could uh, he contributed the money from uh, him, uh, his friends and uh, he gave a part of his salary and in spite of doing this much, they could not collect 100 peso. It was just more than a half and he put that money in the envelope and he just uh, signed there with uh, the signature of God. The following Sunday, Lencho came a bit earlier than usual to ask if there was a letter for him. It was the postman himself who handed the letter to him while the postmaster Exper experiencing the contentment of a man who has performed a good deed looked on from the doorway of his office. So the next Sunday, Lencho came to the post office earlier than usual as he was expecting a reply from God. And the postmaster, he handed the letter to Lencho and even um, the uh, postmaster who did this kind act for Lencho, he was looking at him from the Door, doorway of his, Lencho showed not the slightest surprise on seeing the money. Such was his confidence. But he became angry when he continued, when he counted the money. God could not have made a mistake, nor could he have denied Lencho what he had requested. So when Lencho, he opened the letter, he saw the money, he was not at all surprised. And when he counted the money, he was angry because he asked for 100 peso and the money was not what he had asked for. It was less than that. Immediately, Lencho went up to the window to ask for paper and ink. On the public writing table, he started to write. With much wrinkling of his brows caused by the effort he had to make to express his idea. When he finished, he went to the window to buy a stamp which he lit and then affixed to the envelope with a blow of his fist. So now, um, after receiving the money, immediately when Lencho went to the window and asked for a paper and a pen and he started writing back a letter to God. Lencho went up to the window and asked for paper and ink. And on the public writing table, he started writing letter to God with wrinkling of his brows it means he was tensed all he was not able to write down his thoughts on a piece of paper and when he finished writing he took a stamp and he fixed that stamp with his fist on the envelope the moment that letter fell into the mailbox the postmaster went to open it it said god of the money that i asked for only 17 pesos reached me Send the rest since I need it very much, but don't send it to me through the mail because 
the post office employees were a bunch of crook lencho so uh, lencho wrote that letter and he went and posted in the mailbox so as soon as he dropped the letter into the mailbox the postmaster he went and opened the letter and he read it and there lencho had written um, god the money that um, and uh, there lencho uh, the postmaster went and he opened the letter and he start reading it and there it was written god of the money that i have asked for only 70 pesos reached so um, lencho wrote there that he received only 70 pesos and he uh, asked god to send the rest of the money to him and he said that god please don't send the money through the people of post office because they are a bunch of crook bunch of crook means they are dishonest people so here lencho thought that god had uh, sent the full amount but the people of post office they have cheated him and they have kept some uh, money with them so this time he asked god to send the rest of the money so the moral of the lesson is extreme faith in god may give you a ray of hope even in the darkest time i hope you all have understood this lesson thanks for watching this video